and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with more bonus episodes of Let's Play Chrono Cross. I'm joined this time by Mel as we go through the prologue through Fort Dragonia, which is a little ironic because this time we will actually be recruiting Mel into the party. Not sure she necessarily makes the final party, but she will be with us at some point during this playthrough. I will meet you when something new happens. The first thing that I wanted to show was accepting Kid into the party here at Cape Howell when we first meet her. I have shown this off before, but I did not show off what she says when we travel back to Arnie, so we might as well take care of that now. I do this because it's easier to be honest with you beauty mate that decides it then we're real good mates now yeah real good mates anyways it'll be getting dark soon i suggest we head to arnie and shack up for the night yeah let's go shack up oh and surge don't go trying any funny stuff just because i'm cute and all hey you're the one that keeps on coming to me so you can wake up the next morning oi let's get our arses down to termina Oh yeah, mate, I nearly forgot. Let me give you this. It's a teleporter. You'll be able to switch your party members from afar. A real handy gadget. All you have to do is, ah, it's a pain in the arse to explain. Look it up in the menu. <laughs> and she just breaks the fourth wall like that. But we get the teleporter. Not that we have really any way of using it at this point. Uh, I could have Poshul along, but uh, that would be it. It would just be the three of us, so. It's a little early to be giving us the teleporter, but you can get it that early. This run through, I will be taking Guile along, so let's say no to him first. What will it be? We can ask for his help, or we can wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. I am but a free wanderer. Call me if you change your mind. And then, of course, we will change our mind. There is no such thing as an impregnable fortress in this world. It is destined to be so. Mm, so you have business of the matter as well. Interesting. Gambling is a lot more interesting with higher stakes. What we need now is a seasoned sailor and a sturdy boat to cross the rough waters. If you can find one, leave the rest to me. I will guide you to Viper Manor. What will it be? We will ask for his help. And then Guile enigmatically, enigmatically joins the party. He does it so well. Yeah, I don't know why they give us this screen. Yeah, he's in the party. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed with Guile's endgame stats, though. Once you find a bow to leave the rest to me, I shall guide you. I believe the fortune teller said the target for the bets is located in the manor's mess hall. Yes, I will meet you now at the next uh, new conversation that we can have, which will be with Korcha. I think I need to go through Glenn and Riddell at the, uh, the grave first, though. Remember that Korcha does make us pay 100 gold. Let's say no here. No. <laughs> what? Don't you want to go? That's all he has to say at the end of that. So then we can go through again. Back again, eh? I'll take you wherever you want. Hey, you, we want to get to Viper Manor. Can you take us there? Viper Manor? What you going to do up in that place? You going to go steal some treasure from the vaults or something? Don't go snooping into your customer's privacy. Are you going to take us there or what? As long as you can pay me, I'll take you anywhere you want. It's just that I don't know how to get to the manor. If you want to get there, bring someone who does. I shall guide you there. Are you sure you can get into a place like that? Yes, trust me. All you need to do is prepare the boat. You got it, but it'll cost you. It's gonna be a hundred gold. This time we will say yes. There there goes a pittance of my money at this point. The money is all stacking between, between playthroughs. All right, so that is uh, what I wanted to show off here for Guile's path through. I will meet you at the uh, next decision, which will be whether to save Kid or not. Almost went a little bit too far. We are at the point where we need to decide what to do with Kid. We are going to find a way to save her. Luckily, they do give me two opportunities to do that. I skipped right past the first one. You scared me for a second. Hey, I've come this far. I'll tag along with you. And then Korcha does join along, but we do have uh, some new dialogue options that should be presented to us because we have not done uh, this path and looked at all the dialogue options this way before. By the way, do you even have a clue where to start looking? Yes, actually, I pretty much have the early part of the game memorized by this point. 
It's what happens when you go through the game like 10 times in a couple weeks. It's, that's why I thought, where in the world should we start? Oh, Pasa Beach. What we have left is that girl's amulet. Damn, what are we gonna do if only we had some kind of clue? Yeah, and then the nurse comes in. We'll go ahead and fast forward through all of this. I'll meet you at the next dialogue option. And we have saved Kid. Now, before we get into this dialogue option, Razzly is in the party. You can see her there. Razzly, as it turns out, entirely optional. I thought that if you took this path in order to get to the Hydra, you need to have killed uh, the Pentapus and have gotten Razzly in the party. However, I did a little bit of testing this time and you can just bypass all of that. You can just go straight ahead, bypass that whole branch area altogether, just head for the dwarves and the hydra, and then Razzly will be gone. She'll have saved herself, uh, then never to be seen again. But uh, she is entirely optional, so I was mistaken in a previous video, so I wanted to go over that. So, kid, what are you gonna do, Serge? That's a good question. I could say that I'm gonna go back home or I won't go back yet. Uh, let's start with I'm gonna go back home. Serge, are you sure you are going to be satisfied with that? Think about it, Sergi. Why did you take the trouble to cross the worlds to help Kid? It wasn't just because you wanted to go back to your world, right? You had other reasons to come back to this world. I see. And I'll stick around with you a little longer, but just don't slow me down, you hear? And then Kid joins the party. Anyway, I don't know what happened 10 years ago, blah, 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 blah. Alternatively, we can say, I won't go back yet. I see. But I'll stick around with you a little longer. And then we just move forward from there. So uh, nothing gained from doing it this way. Uh, I'll meet you a little bit ahead through the conversation here because uh, we're going to have to talk about Mel a little bit. Mel has stolen kids' elements, so we have two options here. Hmm? What is it, Serge? You need those elements or it's nothing. Let's start by saying it's nothing. This, I believe, can lock you out of getting Mel in your party. So let's start with that. It's nothing. Why are you acting so strange? Just when I thought you'd loosen up a little. Don't worry, Korcha said he'd get me back me stolen stuff later. Let's just get a move on. Don't you worry, Serge. Leave the rest up to me. I'll go grab that kid after you take after I take you guys back to Termina won't make you guys wait long and then we just gotta leave and we just leave Mel alone who needs another thief in the party after all not like I'll ever need two stolen things in a single battle <laughs> I'll take care of getting the back the stolen elements so don't you worry it was just a kid's prank so go easy on her all right okay then come and find me when you're ready to go all right so we're going to head for Mel that is our goal this time. I also want to check out uh, Matcha, see if she has anything to say, since, well, she's not in the party this time, not doing the backstroke back here and all that good stuff. So, uh, Matcha's gonna be on this floor. How you doing, Matcha? Oh, hi there. There isn't much here, but feel right at home. That's it? That's all you have to say. All right, well... You know, you could smack people with pans for me, but maybe another time. So if we head down here, you can see Mel is not here. Interesting. Just gone altogether. So we can't get her in the party if we say we're not going to get the elements back. So let's head back and say that we're going to get those elements back. You need those elements, kid. Well, you're not wrong. But Korcha said that he'd get them back later. We don't have time to waste. Ain't that right, Serge? Come on, mate, let's go. Y yeah, he never delivers on that promise. He never gets them back. All right, so we have two more options here. We can say, all right, let's go, or no, let's go after Mal. Let's start by locking myself out of getting Mal. All right, let's go. Don't you worry, sirs. Leave the rest up to me. I'll go grab that kid after I take you guys back to Termina. Well, that seems to have moved forward in the same direction. 
But of course this time we do want to say no, let's go after Mel because I want to actually get her in my party, I guess? I don't necessarily know why, but we're gonna go with that anyway. All right, if you insist. Okay, then let's go find that brat right away. Time ain't gonna wait for us. That's the plan, Korcha. Why don't you help us out a bit? It'll be over a lot quicker that way. Gotcha. And then Korcha forces himself into our party. Uh, remember, you have to talk to the guy in front of the dragon shrine and then head over to the residential tower. You'll eventually trap her, but there are no dialogue options because she does not actually join your party right now, which is fine because the end of this uh, run through is going to be as linked, so she wouldn't be available for my final party this time anyway. Uh, but I will meet you at the next dialogue option. But probably at this point, we're, we're just going to go uh, straight to the next part where I want to end the game for an alternate ending. Either way, I'll meet you there. How could I forget about this dialogue option? Korcha has said that if he takes us to Fort Dragonia, he wants Kid to be his wife. And we get a choice as to how to butt in. So let's say, just tell him that you will. Oh, that is a kick. Serge, this is none of your business. It's my own problem. Okay, understood. But this ain't something I can agree to on a whim. I'll consider it until I settle the score with Lynx, that is. That's about the best I can promise. I can't guarantee you anything more. All right, that's all I need for now. Okay, I'll lend you the boat. Yeah, he just gives us the boat. He doesn't actually take us there, but he kind of does, maybe. So that is one way that we can go with that. The other way is to say, no, you're mine, kid. Oh, she kicks us anyway. Sirs, this is none of your business. It's my own problem. Oh, it's one of the, uh, the biggest potential in terms of dialogue options, but it's the same way either way. That's a little disheartening. I was hoping for something a little more entertaining than the same thing, although the kick is pretty entertaining. It's almost like the super kick, but either way, that is it for this dialogue option. I'll probably meet you a ways further into the game. Actually, no, we have the option to outright refuse Korcha here. So we can say, don't take him with you or take him with you. He offers to join the party. So let's just say, no, I have no use of a fisherman in my party. Okay, then I'll be heading home now. Just remember that I'm just lending you my boat. Don't you dare sink it, take care. Don't worry, I won't sink it. I'll actually make it fly. It's kind of weird. So yeah, Korch is optional too. It's kind of weird. Going this route, you can avoid a lot of party members. So at this point, you don't need Razzly, you don't get Mel, and you don't get Korcha. You can avoid all three of them going this way. That's not something that I anticipated, but we're gonna go ahead and let him in the party. You know what? Forget it, we don't need him in the party. We're moving on without him. Now I will meet you much further into the game. Kind of weird that you can just avoid them like that. But if you go the other way, Macha and Glenn like force their way into your party, right? Weird. Back on board the SS Zelbes, I have been turned into a cat from a bigger cat. As you can see, there's no real rush here. Uh, you can kind of just kind of go wherever you want. Gotcha. But he will catch up to you eventually. We didn't get to see this before. Oh no, I strained my back. And down goes Sneff. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. Hey, Snap, you all right? Maybe you should take it easy, Pops. You're not getting any younger. Shut up. I still got it. Yeah, yeah, but Pops, you can't perform your magic now that your back is out. Plus, what are you going to do about those people you transformed into cats? I'm sorry, folks. Actually, there's absolutely no trick behind that magic. An old troll gave me a mysterious berry during my travels long ago. She was saying something about the bend of time. Anyway, after I ate the berry, I was able to transform people into cats. I wish I could change you back to your human form, but my aching back. I'll need to lie down a bit, so you'll have to stay that way for a while. I hope you understand. 
Sorry, folks, just hang in there. Well, I guess we're up. We'll have to fill in for Pops, too. And you can actually talk to him. I'm really sorry, folks. I just need to lie down for a bit. You'll have to play cat and mouse for a while. So, you can try to talk to him. Yeah, as you can see, uh, Salt and Pepper are blocking our way out this time. Nuff! Abracadabra. Can we talk to him a little bit more? Old Man Sneff. Old Man Sneff would always mockingly mock our comedy act. That is why something awfully awful happened to him. Anything, Pepper? He, he shook what he deserved. Now, I believe if I leave and come back, before I get the handle, I actually do get another uh, small little piece of dialogue that I missed the first time around. Like I said, I never got caught by Sneff before. I have uh, gone back and seen him. Yeah, as you can see, he's still there, though. He doesn't have anything more to say, though, unfortunately. This time, I get the punchline. This time I get to say the punchline. Hiya! Is that is that the punchline you get because they, they they punch each other? All right, so uh, that is one way it can go. We have already seen if you escape normally and leave them alone. But uh, let's see one more thing. Where if I get out of here, I don't let them catch me. And then I head back and talk to him. Like I said, I know you get a new piece of dialogue for this. As you can see, those guys are just hanging out up there. And he should say something. Right, more than just the nuff and abracadabra. There we go. You had me worried. I had to lie down a bit because I strained my back running. I'm sorry, folks. Actually, there's absolutely no trick behind that magic. And then he goes through the same spiel about how uh, he made it to the bend of time and he ate a berry and he could transform people into cats. So we actually get the same dialogue a bit. But uh, we had him worried this time. All right, so that's one more thing that I wanted to show off. And off the top of my head, I think that's all that I did want to show off. So I'll probably meet you when it is time to end uh, this playthrough, which isn't going to be too far away from this. Oh, my cats are sleepy. 